water vapor found in Europe's thin atmosphere. Observations with the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed the constant presence of water vapor on Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Interestingly, the analysis showed that water vapor in the thin atmosphere is only found on one side of the moon. Europa, one of Jupiter's 79 moons, is the fourth largest moon of Jupiter and the sixth largest moon in the solar system. It is an icy ball larger than the dwarf planet Pluto, but slightly smaller than Earth's moon. On the surface of Europe, freezing conditions prevail with an average temperature of minus 170 degrees Celsius. However, astronomers suspect that Europa hides a huge ocean beneath its icy crust, which may hold up to twice as much water as Earth's oceans thanks to the temperature coming from the interior of the Moon. The oceans may have conditions conducive to the occurrence of complex chemical reactions. Some researchers are considering the possibility of microbial life there. Now a team of scientists has discovered evidence of persistent water vapor in Europe's thin atmosphere. Earlier reports of water vapor on Europa were related to geyser activity. Observations by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2013 and data from the Galileo spacecraft reanalyzed in 2018 confirmed that geysers spew plumes of water vapor into space. A description of new observations about the constant presence of water vapor in Europa's rarefied atmosphere has been published in Geophysical Research Letters. The discovery is the result of a new analysis of archival images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope between 1999 and 2015. Researchers using a technique developed by Lorenz Roth of the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, which recently resulted in the discovery of water vapor in the atmosphere of Ganymede, another moon of Jupiter, have found evidence of the permanent presence of water vapor on Europa. The time range of the analyzed images suggests the long-term presence of water vapor. Until now, Europa's thin atmosphere was thought to consist entirely of oxygen. But detailed analysis of archival data recorded with the Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph STIs, on the Hubble Space Telescope has shown that water vapor is hovering just above Europa's surface. However, it is not evenly distributed over the entire surface of the object, but occurs only on one half of the Moon, the one that faces the opposite direction of the Moon's motion along its orbit. The reason for this asymmetry is not entirely clear. The observation of water vapor on Ganymede and on the back side of Europa provides a better understanding of the atmospheres of the icy moons, said Roth. However, the detection of stable water on Europa is a bit more surprising than on Ganymede, because Europa's surface temperatures are cooler than on Ganymede, he added. Scientists explain the presence of water vapor on the surface of Europa and Ganymede with the sublimation of water ice, i.e. the transition of ice directly from solid to water vapor without the liquid phase. Soon, scientists will have the opportunity to learn more about Europa and other icy moons of the solar system. The Europa Clipper mission is due to launch later this year and will be used to conduct in-depth studies of the icy moon. The spacecraft will carry nine scientific instruments, including cameras and spectrometers to image the lunar surface in high resolution, a magnetometer to measure the strength and direction of the magnetic field, and an ice-penetrating radar to determine the thickness of the ocean's ice crust. During its mission, the probe will make 40 to 45 flybys over Europe. Examining the icy crust of the Moon and the subsurface ocean, providing data necessary to assess Europe's environment. But this is not the only mission heading to Europe. Launched in 2022, the European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE, 
undertakes to study the atmosphere and magnetosphere of Jupiter and three of its moons, Europa, Callisto and Ganymede. The satellite will cover a distance of 600 million kilometers and will be in Jupiter's orbit in 2029. JUICE will keep observations for at least three years.